Hey guys, it's me, 4321 and Sparkle Queen, back with another video. And today I'm going to be versing kinetic sand, move and mold sand, which is kinetic sand basically, versus this um, pink baby oil slime. And if you guys haven't seen the video when I made this slime, you guys should go check it out. It was a very good video, so now I'm going to be molding them out in, with these little cookie cutters. So let's get started. I'm going to first take out the kinetic sand. And I think this has a giraffe print on it, so you could um like mold it in there. It's super messy, but not messy like not as messy as real sand. So I'm going to Kinetic sand feels good on your hands and stuff. But it's really easy to mold. Okay, I'm gonna try to bring all of it together and try to mold it with this Christmas tree. These are like Christmas cookie cutters, like a gingerbread man and like a Christmas tree and stuff. So I, this is green and that one's red. Alright, let's mold it. Tear off the excess and done. Oops, it broke it. But the cool thing about this is that you can rebuild it. It's kinetic sand. But if it's real sand, you have to pile it all back up again. This feels really good, but I don't know if it's gonna versing the baby oil slime. I don't know. Let's try this thing again. Alright, this time I'm going to try to scoop it up. To move it out of the way. Oh, man. I'm going to do this all over again. Alright. I think that's good enough. Just going to make sure all of it's, like, connected. This is sort of like slime if you think about it, but it has its own texture. Okay. Okay. You might not be able to do this with slime. I don't know. Alright, for the third attempt. Right. Let's get all this sand out of the way. Oh, it's falling apart. Is it falling apart? It's just so much sand dripping. Oh, I think I shouldn't have done the slime first. And all this messy stuff. Well, now I know. Maybe next time I'll use the, the other thing. Because this is super messy. But when you mold it out, it won't be as messy. Now for the third time, let's just swap it over. Yay, I did it! Alright. Just keep flattening it out. Ooh, you can mold it with this, I think. Maybe you gotta like... Yeah, I think you have to put some in there. So I'm gonna mold it. Put some in there. I'm gonna put like a lot in there so they don't like yeah like that I'm not gonna flip it over and then you got a giraffe print bam so cool Right. 
Now let's try to make a, um, another Christmas tree and then I'll try doing a gingerbread man. I'm going to try to make like two Christmas trees. So this is going to be my last Christmas tree. So I'm the I'm just going to leave that to the side so then get kinetic sand all over it. make another Christmas tree out of this. Yep, we can. Let's just tear the excess off. I think this is the easier way of keeping it on. Oh, it's in my nail on everything. I'm definitely gonna use um um the, the slime first because it's less messy. I think I can make a, I might be able to make a gingerbread man out of it. Alright. Let's just slide that over there. And it broke. Okay. Let's just mess up. Ooh, this Christmas tree I can pick up, but then it broke. Okay, I think I could do a gingerbread man with just the, with just enough of this. If you can spread it out a little bit without getting holes in it, I think you could be able to do it. Okay. We could put it right. Let's put it in. I think we did it. Yep, it's able to fit. And I did it the wrong way. This is supposed to be this way something I really don't know that how this way this gingerbread man is supposed to go but let's just try it this way all right let's pick it out so again then tear it off all right I don't think it can make another gingerbread man cookie cutter is way too big all the excess this is super crumbly and crummy yeah next time I'm really gonna do this line first really that it's moldable so I'm gonna try to mold it into a, a cube or a square a cube guess you gotta like roll it into a ball and then shape it and like spread it out a little bit Yeah, it's just gonna soak all up. So I'm just gonna pull it up into a ball. Then just go to doesn't look that bad but it will break easily it will break easily all right so now let's put this inside the thing let's put this inside
trying to get that much there. On to the baby slime. This feels super good. It didn't melt or anything. So good. Makes your hands so oily and it smells good. It smells all like baby oil. We feel like if you guys made this slime and if you guys tested it out and you guys should try making this slime because it feels so soft and squishy and crunchy whenever you make like bubbles. And the best technique for it is to like screw, do that, and wrap it around, and stretch, wrap it around, stretch, wrap it around. That's what you do with bigger slimes. And I'm gonna show you guys how it looks when it goes in the dark. It looks super pink. And I just lay it down and these little spikes glow too. And the powder actually makes it feel good. So just roll it and then I'll like clean it up. Which is good. Just roll it against the edges. Then I'll be like little glowing pieces inside. This looks super cool right now. I bet if it wasn't glowing, it would look super, super weird. I don't know. We have to just wait and see. The kinetic sand glows. It's very moldable. And leave a like of which one you guys like. Like this. This, it now looks like a hot dog. A straight up hot dog. Now it looks like a worm or a snake. Then if you shorten it out. It will end up looking will end up being like a little, a little bit more. Now that's a worm. It's super smooth. Worms are pink and slimy just like this. Alright, so let's try molding this thing out. Clean this, and this right now is sort of looks like brown and green. Just clean that out. Now let's try molding it. Well, it's very, but it's very small. Very small. So let's try like smooth it out a little bit, but still gotta be like thick. Farted. <laughs> the slime farted. Okay, it's flat, but it's not the worst. But since it's slime, it's like you can't take off the excess. So that's why you will need to use like some pair of scissors or a knife or something. So then I'm gonna try the second technique second way to do it. And it won't be snatched away. You can do this. But it'll rip it off. When you rip it off, you'll rip off a bunch of the ends. It didn't turn out as good as kinetic sand did. So leave a like if you guys 
um, which one you guys think is best. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any time I post. Peace.